ready to give their faithful fans plenty to cheer about tonight. And before we get... Kevin, thank you. Indeed. Something special, David. Thanks. And let's take a look at the last handful of seasons and the steal numbers for Paul George. And when you see the tumble his steal totals have taken the last few years, you, you can see that he's gotten away from playing the kind of gritty, hard-nosed D he was known for. That, that's an aspect of his game he needs to get back. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. They've got Paul George. Batuma's out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Ivica Zubas. And it's Jackson in at the point. And for the Mavericks. Kleba is the four with Porzingis in the middle. Luka Doncic out there with Josh Richardson. And it's Finney Smith in at the three. Richardson against George. To the inside. Moves back up. Outside for Jackson. A step back shot here. Count it. And this time of year, Steve, is when we see a lot of players start to lose their edge. A, a lot of games in the rear view mirror, but the playoffs, the playoffs are still a ways off. Well, Kevin, for the great teams, this is when you snap into more focus. This is the time of year to get into the postseason mode. Usually those teams and players that fall off, they're usually on losing teams. Sure. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Slippery play by Paul George to get inside. He ends up right where he wanted to be for the shot. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. And, and with his length, Porzingis can be very disruptive on D. Not easy to get the shot off over that huge frame. Salvage the possession. He's a terrific offensive rebounder. Doncic kicks to Finney Smith. Back to Doncic. Inside, here's Persingas. From down in the low post, it goes. And how about the vision there from Doncic? Can make the easy pass and also the difficult George dishes to Leonard. Back to George. Leonard inside. His last outing with 20 points. Kawhi has all the physical gifts, and the one thing I love, he really can pass. Doncic against Jackson. And Doncic gets it to go. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Jackson with it. Taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now, he averages about nine points a game. And the dunk by Zubox. Good vision. Good decision by Reggie. Pushing for a better shot. Finds an open man. Now, Doncic. The offensive rebound for Zingas. Misses the layup. He had him with that pump fake. Nobody near Leonard. And it's off from three-point range. And, and Smitty with LeBron getting into his late 30s. KD coming off the Achilles. For your money, is Kawhi Leonard the best player in the world? Great question. I know one player, the Greek Freak, might have something to say about that. No less than Michael Jordan himself called Kawhi the best two-way player in the game. That's a very strong endorsement from MJ. And that one's good, George. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Anjic passes to Persingas. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Such assertiveness. This is why Porzingis is a go-to option on offense. Never afraid to take a big shot. Jackson kicks to Leonard. to Zubats and too much time in the lane they get called for the three second violation Johnson he's checked in for Dallas Hardaway comes in for Dorian Finney Smith and then for the Clippers Patrick Patterson he's checked in for Zubats Marcus Morris comes in for Nicholas Batum and it's Williams in for Reggie Jackson creative at finding ways to just cut inside there Doncic a guy you must keep your eyes on 
Doncic against Williams. Yep, it counts. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. The Mavericks trailing. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. The drive by Doncic. Here's Johnson. Pass to Persingas. He goes right over Marcus Morris and slams it down. Really unacceptable letting Porzingis get that kind of positioning. Once he's established, it's over. From deep, George. Porzingis with the rebound. Richardson outside. From deep. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And the defense by Luz using his experience. It's a tie game in Dallas. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action. And we welcome you back to our special Noche Latina broadcast. As the second quarter getting going right now. And what do you think, guys, about Dallas here in this one? In that first period, they showed a willingness to make the extra pass. And that's really hard on a defense, having to play deeper into the clock and having to cover a lot more ground. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got. Patrick Patterson is out there with Marcus Morris. Then it's Luke Kennard. Then it's Williams. And it's Coffey in its small forward. Runs in the pass to Marjanovic. And the layup falls. Marjanovic has got the lead back up to two now for the man. Nice job. Those passes have to be right on the money around the painted area. Here's Coffey. Offline with his three. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. Second shot opportunity. Pauly stop. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And here we can check out the score for Paul George. His effective field goal percentage, a favorite stat of the analytics crowd, has been on the way down over his past 10 games. His game isn't as well-rounded as it needs to be. Greg, who are your favorite players to watch in the NBA? Oof, boy, that, that's a tough one. I mean, you know, you, you got to like the guys that are have changed the game in some regards, right? Steph, KD, and Giannis. Uh, those are three guys that are just doing things that don't seem normal. True. Uh, then others who remind you uh, of past greatness, you know, Jason Tatum with Kobe, or maybe an Anthony Davis with the King. And those are guys that I love. And, and then uh, the other guy, listen, LeBron James, I, I could watch him play basketball every day. You, you know, to do what he's done at this stage of his career, I, I just think it's incredible. And I think our game is in great shape. Agree on all counts. Now, here's Kennard. Burke covering. Kennard, the pass to Oturu. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. Mavericks leading by six. Here's Cauley Stein. Johnson. Morris with the rebound. To the inside. And taken away by Johnson. Johnson with it. Guarded now by Morris. Brunson, no good. Clippers trail by six. Here's Oturu. Rips down the breakaway slam. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Brunson finds Coley Stein. He's now one for two with that bucket. Nice work inside by Coley Stein. Great tool as a finisher. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Williams against Brunson. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And it looks like, yep, it's the closest challenge on the personal foul. That triggers a replay review by the official. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replay, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving. 
and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. The first free throw is good. Patterson, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And so he hits both. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Now, here's Richardson. 14 points from him the last game against the Clippers. And here comes Jackson leading the fast break. And the dunk by Jackson. Hard to keep up with Reggie when he gets out in space. And on top of that, an excellent finisher. Jackson against Hardaway. So the wing on the left. Kicks it out to Richardson. Outside, Brzingis. Five to shoot. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Last time they came together was in Dallas where they fell to the Mavericks. And really just a bad loss. No other way to put it. I mean, they maybe overlooked some of the bench players because those reserves got loose offensively. No good from Zubac. And it's Porzingis with the ball. He'll bring it up for Dallas. Now coming into the lead with immense potential. Porzingis has already fulfilled much of it. Already an all-star. But you know, Greg, there are still areas he's working on. Yeah, he, he's definitely getting stronger and, and more physical. You'd like to see him make the next pass a little more often when a teammate has a better shot. But if he can just stay healthy, boy, the sky's the limit on what he can accomplish. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. He's in attack mode, drawing contact now, getting to the line, something he didn't do at all in the first quarter. Passes it to Hardaway. Now here's Porzingis. And the dunk by Porzingis. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Nobody near Williams. No good on the triple. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Hardaway. And the rejection by Jackson. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Zubox, the best of man. Here's Patterson. No good from outside. For Dallas, they've gone 4 of 10 in the second quarter from the field. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. I uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Doncic has checked in for Tim Hardaway Jr. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Here's George. He's coming off a 28-point game against Dallas. And it wasn't just the scorn. He also impacted the game on the glass. Terrific all-around effort. Good work defensively by Richardson. So the okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just... And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we hope you enjoyed the... The first quarter for the Mavericks was fairly even. Luka Doncic That's all for now. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Porzingis having a dominant impact in this game. In those first two quarters, he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. I have to credit them for their patience offensively. They understood the matchup, and they took the necessary time to exploit it. Kleba is the four with Perzingis in the middle. Josh Richardson out there with Luka Doncic. And it's Finney Smith in at the three, the small four. So that's who Rick Carlisle starts the second half with. In OKC, Paul George showed he could be an MVP caliber performer. With Kawhi on the Clippers, he could be that 1B or that 1A. Doncic feeling it out to the paint. Here's Persingas. 
Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got four assists now tonight. He's just adept at gutting the defense in these sets. Give Doncic a passing lane, and he'll thread the needle. Here's Leonard. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Zubats has got eight points. Yeah, and that's a pure hustle play, getting to the offensive glass for the tip-in. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Outside, George. Leonard dishes to Jackson. Back to Leonard, down low. Zubats against Porzingis. Outside for Batum. Outside Leonard over Kleba, and it's Leonard missing. And PG, you know, he has the versatility to succeed in different roles. He doesn't have to dominate the ball. Yes, and if anything, he's more comfortable scoring within the flow of the offense. With his all-around impact, doesn't need to force things to make winning plays. But if you need him to, he can. You want unselfishness, but you also need to keep it under control. And a new group getting ready for Dallas. Willie Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Pazingas. Johnson comes in for Maxi Kleba. Tim Hardaway Jr.'s checked in for Richardson. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Dorian Finney Smith. And the Clippers with a change here, too. Morris is checked in. Matum finds Morris. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. The Mavericks leading. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. Dallas again missing. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Lou Williams has checked in for Jackson. The Mavericks have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. Here's Doncic. But they recover it. Hardaway kicks to Brunson. Let's it go from deep. That one, no good. The Clippers go the other way with it. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Greg is a broadcast. Who have been some of your favorite personalities to cover? Man, that's a great question. Uh, you know, most of the stars, it, it, I, I'm a big fan of, of Duran and Steph and LeBron and those guys. Chris. Paul's another one that's a favorite. Uh, so many other guys, you know, there's so much more personality and so much more confidence these, these guys have working uh, in front of the camera. I think that just makes for a, a better experience. Somebody asked me the other day, who is my favorite? You know who I said? Who was that? Greg Anthony. Oh, you're just saying that because it's true. <laughs> Here's Williams. He kicks to Patterson. Releases from 15. Clippers moving the ball around. Leonard attacking. And the Clippers miss again. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Hardaway passes to Doncic. Over Williams. And it's Doncic missing. This shot's just, it's not there right now. With this team leading, perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for Dallas. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Here's Marjanovic. He goes up again. Second chance shot. He takes it up and lays it in. Marjanovic has got four points now in the quarter. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Outside, George. Leonard inside. Guarded by Doncic. Leonard, no luck. Dallas leading by three. Hardaway with a wide-open look. True on the 14-footer. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. On the wing, Morris. A three from Leonard. 
It's rebounded by Doncic. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Out in the zone on the break. Here's Patterson. And it's Patterson finishing it off. You see, that is just rude. Kawhi picks it, triggers the fast break. See ya. We've got 22 seconds left in the third quarter. It's a neck-and-neck -neck game here in Dallas. And here's Brunson. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. To the middle, Leonard with the steal. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Mavericks ahead, up three. And we'll get going. And how about a look now at our assist to the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And what a beautiful feat. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. We're going to keep the defense on its heels. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Kennard is out there with Reggie Jackson. Then it's Marcus Morris. Then there's Patrick Patterson. It's Kevin Gelley in at the small forward position. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. The pass to Morris. To tie it up. Mavericks with the rebound. Morjanovic has got his sixth rebound on the night. Johnson attacking. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Johnson's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Dallas. Kennard finds Patterson. Brunson against Jackson. Mavericks leading by five. A clear look for Hardaway. And that one off the back of the rim and in. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Jackson passes to Morris and taken away by Johnson. Here's Brunson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Brunson's got the lead up to nine now for the man. Really, really good possession there. They've never lost their focus even as the game's gotten tight. With their lead starting to stretch out just a little bit here late. They're in a prime position now to wrap this one up. Here's Johnson. Nifty move. And the layup is up and in. And now it's an 11-point Maverick lead. Well, that, that's three of their last five baskets in transition. Here's Jackson. That one's off. Still out of sync. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Here's Brunson. Off target from outside. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Count it. And I like the different looks that Morris can give you inside, outside, and in transition. Brunson against Jackson. Brunson the bounce pass. Down to five on the shot clock. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Hardaway for three. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. That's a two from Kennard. And the shot is good. The Maverick lead has been cut down now to just seven on the basket from Jackson. A rare offensive rebound for Reggie Jackson, but he knows what to do with it once he gets it. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Mavericks. And now, yep, this will be a coach's challenge. We thought that might happen, triggering a review of the personal foul. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. 
And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And, guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Doncic passes to Persingas, feeds it to Cole Stein. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now, and George with the stuff. Big points as the stakes rise, so does George's impact on the game. Doncic with it. And it's a defensive three-second violation. And so he hits the technical free throw. Have to love how he steps up there and knocks that down. Just one more point added on to their lead. One twelve left in the fourth quarter. Richardson outside. Five on the clock. Over George. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Clippers trail by six. Money! I mean, unbelievable. It's one thing to be talented, but Kawhi is clutch as well. Here's Finney Smith. He's covered by Leonard. Has to call his time. Batum with the steal. And they go to the intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Here's George. There's 38 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Pass to Zubats. Yes! That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time for Burns and Clark. Jackson against Doncic. Colin Stein kicks to Doncic. And they commit an intentional foul. You see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. Doncic outside and an intentional foul right there. Yeah, no way that should have taken so long. They don't have that much time to waste. They need to foul immediately. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. And that's the knockout blow right there, guys. Those free throws should put this one away. Los Angeles calls timeout. They trail by four. Three seconds left in the game. Guys, what do you think? And I'm sure the coach is telling them it ain't over till it's over. Yeah, but, but I don't know. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Luka Doncic. And I love that it's been a hard-charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And what's so impressive about Doncic, the maturity. Yes, he's polished, but, but he's got a completeness to his game at such a young age. And the Clippers call time here. What do you think, guys? Well, you need the three here. A quick one. I mean, very quick. Has to be catch and shoot. One fluid motion. A very difficult shot, but it's, it is definitely not impossible. And here's Leonard from three. Oh, he couldn't make that shot go to force overtime. David, thank you as all. And that'll wrap it up, folks, for Brigham.
starters for Los Angeles. Ivica Zubas is out there with Batum. Then it's Paul George. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Jackson in at the one spot. And for Portland, pairing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCollum. Robert Covington out there with Derek Jones. And it's Cantor in at the center position. Now here's Jackson. Back to Zubac. Over in the corner, Batum. Down to five on the shot clock. Misses the three. 
And so Lillard will bring it up for the Trailblazers. And a wide open look for McCollum. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Greg, in terms of personnel, not exactly the matchups we were expecting to see tonight. You know, Kev, with all the injuries and, and some guys now having to step into unfamiliar roles, in some ways, that makes tonight all the more intriguing to see which guys are going to step up and deliver. Now, here is George, stolen by Cantor. Covington with it, and Batum picks him up defensively. Cullen passes to Jones. McCollum kicks to Cantor. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Second chance shot. Over in the corner, Lillard. No good from outside. And now the fast break. George with the ball. Doesn't go for him. Good D by Covington. For Portland, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Back to Lillard over Jackson. Again, the miss by Lillard. Oh, you expect him to make those. They've got to do more to get a hand in his face next time. And he comes up with the deuce. Well, you can't leave somebody that wide open when Jackson's running the show. <laughs> Reggie will find him every time. Lillard, the pass to Cantor. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Pass to McCollum. Makes it off the glass. McCollum's got five. He's an excellent penetrator. I mean, as soon as McCullen sees a lane, he's all over. And McCullum on the floor, all business. Off the court, he's a very outspoken player, very colorful guy. And Greg, you were saying you, you see a future in media form when he, when he stops playing. No doubt about it, Kevin. I mean, McCollum spoke up quickly about the seriousness of the virus when they were playing. He's very knowledgeable and shares what's on his mind. A media position after he's done playing is a very real possibility if he chooses to. Here's Cantor. Paul George making his last shot. Lillard left side. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. He's one for four to start the game. Now, I know he's disappointed with that, but we've got a long way to go. Jackson kicks to George. And there's the pass to Zubats. Jackson against Lillard. Jackson passes to Zubats. And the dunk by Zubats. And over the years, Jackson has mastered the pick and roll, firing the pass to the perfect spot for his teammate to catch. McCollum finds Lillard. 139 left to play in the first. Pass to Jones. Portland needs to get off a shot. It doesn't go for him. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Pass to George. Wide open. Another one falls for the Clippers. And look how quick on the draw George is. The, the moment he's got the ball, he's in motion for the shot. Now here's Lillard. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. Cantor. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Zubat kicks to Batum. Outside Leonard. Drops in the layup for two. Leonard's got his second basket of the game. Well, when Batum spots a wide open teammate, he zips the rock to him quickly. Just exceptional vision. Lillard outside. That one goes in. Whether he's creating for himself or spotting up, Lillard's jumper is wizard. And so George will bring it up for the Clippers. They trail by one. Last time they met was in Los Angeles. And the last meeting of these two teams, they were really sharp defensively, disrupting the flow of their offense and causing a ton of turnovers. And that's what led them to a blowout win. Offensively, they were solid, but their defense was what really carried them. Got it off in time, and no good in the last second attempt this time. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Clippers ahead.
They lead by two. And before the game, we talked to Damian Lillard. You know, Greg, he... I don't fear nobody. Yeah. And if Lillard's proved anything to us, Greg, in his career, you know he loves a challenge. <laughs> One of the premier big shot makers in this game. I, I don't know if there's anyone you'd rather give the ball to in crunch time. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Well, yeah, this is their preferred pace, and it's gotten them out to an early lead. They've got Little. Anthony is out there with Giles, and it's Trent in at the two. That's the group on the floor for Portland. It's Williams with the drive. On the wing, Morris. Williams passes to Okuru. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. The Trailblazers have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Well, Melo made his way back into the league last season. He was immediately a heavy minutes player for the Blazers. Looked good as a third scoring option for the team. Back to Anthony. And foul on the shot. And yep, we thought we might see it. And the coach's challenge has been triggered on the personal foul call. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively, and involving the coaches by being able to a challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. Now here's Williams. Defense right on him. Here's Oturu. And Kennard wide open. He shoots. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. But they set Kennard up so well. He, he takes a composed shot and drains it. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Simons. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Now, you know, Anthony's getting more floor time last season. He worked his way into the Blazers' rotation. He's still young, though. It seems like he can carve a role out on this team. And Simons a bit undersized at that two-guard position. Only 6'3", but a natural two with playmaking ability. Ultimately, this team wants him to be a scoring threat off the bench. I mean, have him come in finally from outside. He's got a lot of work to get to that point. And here is Williams. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Look, they say there are no easy finishes in the NBA, but that should have been easy. Trent passes to Carmelo. He can't hit that time. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. I mean, I, I flat out, I mean, I, I thought they looked overmatched. I, mean, I, I thought they lacked aggressiveness and heart out there. Trent passes to Simon. Oats one up, out of bounds. The Clippers take possession. Let's take a look at the teams that have done a great job of converting turnovers into points since the All-Star break. The Clippers, number one. And since the break, we've seen them ambush their opponents with that attacking brand of defense. And boy, have they reaped the rewards offensively. C.J. McCollum, he's checked in for Portland. Damian Lillard comes in for Inferni Simon. Leonard, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Paul George comes in for Luke Kennard. George with the ball. Lillard picks him up. Leonard the pass to Patterson. Back to Leonard. And that one drops for him. Leonard's got the lead up to three now for the Clippers. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Here's Anthony. Feeds it to Cantor. 
sets the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Greg is a point guard. What is it you like to see from that position on the floor? I think first and foremost, leadership. It's so valuable at that spot. And, you know, you, you, you always got to have your head high because your teammates are feeding off what you put forth in terms of your body language and enthusiasm. So, you know, the typical stuff about organizing the offense and, and setting the tone on the defensive end, that stuff's important as well. But so much of how you carry yourself out on the floor when you deal with adversity and you know that you're going to it, it is really paramount. Here's Leonard. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Oh, you know what it is. One play at a time. That's got to be the mindset, especially in such a tight game. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. And the basket is good. And now it's a three-point Los Angeles lead. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Three-pointer Lillard buries the long-range jumper. Lillard's got nine points. With his ability to accelerate, defenders have to be careful against Lillard. It's either give him the three or risk the blow by. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. So for the Trailblazers, Harry Giles is checked in for cancer. Robert Covington comes in for Carmelo Anthony. And Jones subbed in for Rodney Hood. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. Every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. Lillard with the bucket. Pick and roll master. You got to respect how decisive Lillard is. I mean, he often makes great decisions. Kennard for three. No good there. And I like the bold move of going right back at him to return the three, but he just couldn't get it to go. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back. The first quarter for the Trailblazers was fairly even. Some good moments from both teams. And... And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You have to like what we've seen so far from Damian Lillard. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. This game has his fingerprints all over it. Now looking to replicate what he did in the first half. Taking a look at Los Angeles. They've got Ivica Zubac. Edgy Jackson out there with Paul George. Then there's Batum. And it's Leonard in at the three spot. Here's Cantor, and denied, he sends it right off the glass. Leonard inside, defended by Covington, and it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Kawhi Leonard. And McCollum launches it from deep. Passes it to Cantor, he kicks it to McCollum. Here's Lillard, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Lillard's got 14 points. All right, I'm telling you, don't let Lillard get in rhythm. Once he's feeling it, he's going to burn you on every possession. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Lillard attacking, and he gets the whistle for the three-second call. You can tolerate gaps like that sometimes, but in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. So for the Trailblazers, Trent's checked in, and it's Simons in for Lillard. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And read the plate perfectly, gets himself in the air at the right moment. Terrific denial. Cancer dishes to Covington. Here's Simons. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Here's what Portland has lined up on their schedule. On Thursday, they'll be matching up against Eric Bledsoe and the New Orleans Pelicans. 
And then on Friday, they'll go up against Chris Stapps, Porzingis, and the Dallas Mavericks. And for the game with the Mavericks, that's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference, and both teams will need to be at their best. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stop. Yeah, Coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. It's George on the wing. He's got 11. Leonard on the wing. Back to George. The pass to Leonard. No good. That's the first shot for the floor. He's missed. Five for six. Here's Giles. Zubats defending. Giles kicks to Covington. Back to Giles. Kicks it out to Covington. Over Batum. A shot that time. Not on target. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. And he's got the athleticism and strength to be a powerful presence inside. Leonard never afraid to get in and mix it up down low. And it's Simons missing. The Clippers trail. For the lead, here's George. And terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. George has got four this quarter. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. 130 left in the third. And that's an intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. So both teams changing it up here. 127 left in the third quarter. Pass to Hood. Two on the clock. From the stripe. Rebound by the Clippers. Morris outside. Here's Oturu. And he throws it down hard with one hand. This is why Kanar's teammates appreciate him. He's good at sharing the wealth when they're uncovered. Cullen passes to Hood. Kicks it out to McCollum. Pass to Covington. McCollum against Williams. Shot is good in the Los Angeles lead. Cut down to just one on the bucket from McCollum. Such a smart offensive player. When McCollum sees these shots open up, he doesn't think twice about fire. Passes to Kennard. Williams looking around. And the pass to Oturu. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. Kennard's shot is off. It's deflected. Williams with the steal. Shots good by Kennard. Kennard's got his second basket. It's Kennard's ability to create that sets him apart. I mean, he hits his side and finds himself a shot. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Clippers. And let's listen to head coach Terry Stotts review the game plan with his guy. It's going to become a possession game. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. McCollum is out there with Damian Lillard. Then it's Rodney Hood. Then it's Anthony. And it's Giles in at the five. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Man. Great tee that time from Hood. Trailblazers trail by three. And it's McCollum off the drive. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Zubats has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Patterson dishes to Williams. Back to Patterson. The kick out to Williams. 
Patterson inside. Oh. By Lillard. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy baskets like this. Lillard from outside. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got his sixth rebound on the night. And contact on the shot. And here we go with the coach's challenge. A surprise in a competitive game like this. And he's disputing the personal foul call. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Cantory checked in for the Trailblazers. Now a timeout called by Portland. And with a fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. So both teams making some changes here. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, I was able to listen in on what Terry Stotts went over with his team. He was disappointed in the shot selection. He told them, stay patient, run the offense, make the extra pass. We don't have to make up the deficit all at once. We'll see if they start shooting a little better. Kevin? Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam, a big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. And that one's good, Lillard. Don't forget about this fella for a second. He is the definition of dangerous. Jackson with it. Inside. Here's Oturu. Outside for Batum. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Six on the shot clock. It's stolen by Jones. And now Portland on the break. Here's Lillard. It's Reggie Jackson with the rebound. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. No, you're right. He'd take that 10 out of 10 times. He's not going to miss many of those. Oturu, the pass to Jackson. And again, no good by the Clippers. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Three-pointer, Lillard. And the three ball is good. Lillard's got five points now this quarter. That's why you give Lillard the rock. <laughs> when it's an important possession, you know he's going to rise to the occasion. George looking around to the inside. Here's Oturu, and he jams it with authority. Look, he may not be thought of as big for a center, but with his ability to go vertical, he sure plays big. Alert against Jackson. On the wing, Jones. Here's Trent, defended by George. That's a break for the D right there. I mean, he takes advantage of open looks inside more often than not. Nobody near Leonard. Gets hauled in by the Trailblazers. Covington's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Willard. Offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Jones. Willard against Jackson. Lock at six. And it's Willard missing. And that shot isn't the one they should be taking if they want to make this comeback happen. On the wing, Jackson. Back to George. Covington against Leonard. Pass to Oturu. A 15-footer. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Even when the D is playing off of the mid-range jumper, shouldn't be the shot they're looking for. Absolute baller. When the game is up for grass, Covington wants to be the guy to take it. 
Raiders are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. Now here's Leonard. Here's Oturu. He's covered by Cantor. It's stolen by Jones. And it's all about the three right here. That's what they need to tie it. Boy, what a game this has been. So it's the Clippers taking the win and a close. David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks.
2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The features of Santa Monica and, and taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Lou Williams. And, and looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. And the Clippers starting five. Paul George is out there with Reggie Jackson. Then it's Ivica Zubox. Then there's Batum. And it's Leonard in at the three, the small forward. And for the Lakers, Aldwell Pope and LeBron fill out the wings. Marcus Saul is out there with Morris. And it's Schroeder in at the point. Here's Jackson. Emphasizing the importance of a deep bench. A few teams, Doris, across the league are riddled with injuries right now. And this is where your front office has to find a way to be successful year after year. And players over the course of a season maybe won't play for five, six, seven, eight games. And then an injury opens an opportunity. And you have to have a high level of professionalism at the end of the bench to endure these moments. About the vision of Mark Keith Morris hits the open man has a good feel for the game boy this guy can do a lot of things now here's Jackson George trying to break free Zubat's no good boy that's 0 for 3 in the early going just a little out of sync LeBron outside unloads Offensive rebound. Boy, he was wide open. You wonder, did he overthink it? That's a missed opportunity. Outside for Batum over Gasol. A shot by Batum. No good. They are 0 for the game thus far. 0 of 4 here. Still looking for their first win. Shot by Caldwell Pope. No good. The Clippers have gone 0 of 4, missing their first four field goals here. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. This guy is such an excellent finisher at the rim. He's got incredibly long arms and very strong hands. And Kawhi Leonard with a very analytical approach to us to the game. Studies angles, movement, trying to groove in on perfect mechanics. I mean, he does it all. Yeah, Kev, that goes back to his favorite high school subject, which was math. And think about how precisely he has built his game. He started at the free throw line, then went to the low post, and now has added the range game. Very analytic approach. Now here's James. Gasol finds James. Now Caldwell Pope. Shot clock at five. Back to LeBron. Shoots over Leonard. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. Yeah, under duress of the shot clock, LeBron James so comfortable taking and hitting these shots. Always calm in those circumstances. Jackson against Schroeder. Jackson passes to Zubac. And the dunk by Zubac. Okay, two hands for safety. That's, that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. Pass to Gasol. 
On the wing, James. Right side, Gasol. And no good that time. So the Clippers will take it the other way. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. Now Morris. Kawhi Leonard missing from long range. James outside. Wide open look. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And it's Batum with the ball. Bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. It's stolen by Morris. And here's the fast break. LeBron leading the way. Schroeder finds James. Back to Schroeder. And again, the Lakers no good. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. It's good. He is putting you in a bind because Lou Williams' passing ability sets up his scoring in the pick and roll. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Pass to Kuzma. Feeds to Caldwell Pope. And he uses the glass on the lane. All heart from Caldwell Pope there, using every ounce of strength to muscle that shot in. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. To the paint. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. The Lakers trail. Here's Caruso. Currently averaging almost six points a game. Throw it up and let Montrez Harrell finish. And here is Williams. With one on the clock. And it's yeah, wow, he nails the buzzer, Peter. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. Well, finishing quarter strong. Every coach preaches it. Nice work. Welcome back, everyone, to the second quarter of play here on Noche Latina. Valenos. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers, guys. Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. And why wouldn't they? You see their effectiveness in the open floor. Very difficult to slow down. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got, they've got Morris. Lou Williams out there with Luke Kennard. And it's man in at the three. Man, how about that display of athletic ability? Kuzma can contort his body when converting on those difficult shots. Now here's Williams. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. And Jones sends it back. Here's Horton Tucker. Kennard covering. And he makes that one. How about the timing? Can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Clippers have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Passes it to Oturu. Now here is Morris. Kennard the pass to Oturu. Clippers moving the ball around. The pass to Kennard. Just four to shoot. The shot from 20 feet away. That one doesn't drop. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Coming off that win against Minnesota. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looks so good now. Well, give them some credit for taking advantage of a weak defense and capitalizing on every mistake. And the Clippers making a change here. Coffee's checked in. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. Here's Williams after the basket by Montrez Harrell. Morris passes to Oturu. 
and he could not get and folks the coach's challenge has been initiated for a personal foul close game like this and he thought it wasn't a good call And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. The Lakers in the lead. Down low. Here's Jones. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Jones has got his first two points. Greg, we have a league of many great playmakers, don't we? Oh, there's no doubt about it. Le LeBron James is obvious. You know, he played point guard technically for the first time last season, but he's always been a floor general. You, you look at a young man like Ja Morant, and he's been on the attack since day one when he hit the league. And there's so many more of those guys that are having an impact, understanding the value of that lead guard position. It is fun to watch. It is so fun to watch. I agree. Here's Horton Tucker following the score by Lou Williams. Here's Kuzma. Loads it up there for Harold. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. One thirty-one left in the first half of basketball. Oturu, the pass to Patterson, beyond the arc. And Jones pulls it down. Lakers leading by four. Here's Harrell. And Harrell sends it in. How about the explosion from Montrez Harrell with a little attitude that dunk. Out to the right wing. Here's Coffey. And Jones pulls it down. And it's Jones with the ball for the Lakers. They lead by six, their biggest margin. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. And that'll be the third of the four straight at home. And Jones sends it back. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jones. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. A different look for the Clippers. Here's George. He's off on that one. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Last time they faced off, it was right here at home where they couldn't get it done. Yeah, and their last time out against this club, turnovers really did them in. Just way too many mistakes. They were forced into tons of sloppy play, and I think they'll be looking to be more composed tonight. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Odd pass to Gasol. James finds Gasol. Back to LeBron. From the arc. The shot, no good. Jackson dishes to Leonard. It's good, the assist this time from Jackson. Six points for Leonard. Now, this is a small forward who, because he's 230 pounds, can hold his own down in the low post. That is nicely done. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, a competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. They never put themselves in too much danger. And that. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You have to like what we're seeing, guys, from Montrez Harrell. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but. Boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. Aldwell Pope and LeBron fill out the wings. Marky Porras is out there with Mark Gasol. And it's Schroeder in at the one. 
That's the group starting the second half for Frank Vogel. Gasol lays it up off the glass. Well, Marc Gasol will never back away when he's got that kind of interior position. Now Jackson. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Up top, Leonard, covered by LeBron. Deft touch on the alley-oop. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley -oop. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. When the story of Kawhi Leonard is told, it will be about the hard work being the secret of his success. Here was a guy who was not the most vaunted prospect in either high school or college. But boy, he kept his eyes on what he was after, and he kept working. Now Leonard, after Markeith Morris's three-pointer that didn't go, that evens the score. That Sounds makes good. three in a row to start the second half. Marcus Morris has checked in Two for one. Nicholas Batum. And Doris, you were talking about Leonard's work ethic. Going back to San Diego State, he used to come in at 6.30 in the morning. No lights on in the gym, so he brought his own lamps. I mean, the guy was dedicated. <laughs> no doubt, Kevin, and that has been the through line of his career. First to practice, last to leave. He has that hunger to improve, the drive and the desire to put in the time to be great. There's a price to be paid, and he's willing to pay it. Lakers shooting their first free throws of this game. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and the Clippers making a change here. Mann's checked in. Here's Mann. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Zubats kicks to Leonard. And then Leonard with the dunk. As unassuming as he looks sometimes, Kawhi Leonard finishes with authority off the dribble. Pass to James it out to Schroeder. They need this. Rebound by the Clippers. Zubats has got his seventh rebound here tonight. The shot by George, no good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And well Pope with a wide open look, and the Lakers with another miss. Boy, as slow a start as you could have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. And they go to the intentional foul. Both teams will make substitutions. And Leonard has it in the corner. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. You can see the handle of Kawhi Leonard so much tighter than it used to be. How confident is he off the dribble? The drive by James. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. If you go step in a time machine, what would you like and dislike about playing in this here at this time? Well, like, no doubt about the tempo and the spacing. Uh, I, I think that, more than anything, allows for the true skill and artistry of the game to be on display. Uh, I probably wouldn't want to get switched onto MB down low. <laughs> That, that wouldn't, I would probably dislike that and let it be known vociferously. But, but, I, but I always pictured you as being fearless, like you would never turn down that kind of challenge. I wouldn't turn it down publicly. <laughs> <laughs> and the Clippers making a switch here. Kevin Gelly's checked in. Here's Mann. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. To the middle, Zubats. And the dunk by Zubats. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Here's Caruso, trailing by two. Here's Kuzma. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. The kick out to Williams. Zubox, the pass to Kevin Gill. Plenty of space. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. All by himself, trying to step up. He's got to be frustrated with the miss. Harrell, that's good. Montrez Harrell will work hard. He's balancing his offensive game, and he's cooking. Here's Mann. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Montrez here. Oh, I 
tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. First trip to the line for him here. And the first one at the line is good. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And you can sense that the pressure might have gotten to him a little bit, but he did do enough to put them in the lead. It's stolen. 40 seconds left here in the third quarter. It's Kuzma penetrating. And Kuzma slams it in. What a jam from Kuzma. Uh, the athleticism there makes him look unstoppable. Pass to Kanar. Here's Oturu. Here's Kevin Gelly. No points in the game hit for him. Guys, close one here. No team getting a huge advantage. Yeah, tooth and nail fight so far, guys. These sides match up really well. It's Kumbo on the wing. He kicks to Matthews. Loads it up there for Harold, and Harold slams it in. Well, nice job by Wesley Matthews to read the defense and put it on time and on target. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Lakers ahead, up one. And we'll be back right after this. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Lakers. They lead by one. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth. Reggie Jackson out there with Paul George. Then it's Marcus Morris. Then there's Patrick Patterson. And it's Batum in at the power forward. The Lakers shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Here's Morris. Good work defensively by Morris. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. And here we go with Morris, running it up the court. Lakers whipping the ball around now. Caruso, the pass to Harrell. And the officials three. calling for a three-second violation. Boy, not on the same page there. And in a possession ball game, that's a big mistake. Some changes for the Lakers. Marcus Gasol has checked in for Harrell. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Alex Caruso. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. Leonard comes in for Morris. And the Lakers making a change here. James is checked in. Outside Leonard. Elbow shot is on the way. LeBron grabs the miss. James has got four rebounds in this game. Kicks it to Schroeder. To the paint. Batum with the steal. Leonard with the ball. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. And it's Leonard with the jam. When Kawhi Leonard is healthy, he can dominate both ends of the floor. Nice job to finish it there. Outside for Caldwell Pope. No good on the triple. The Clippers in the lead. Here's George. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got three assists tonight. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. And George gets the whistle that time. That is his first time foul out, of the out. game. And the Lakers call time here. You have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. Boy, he's been relentless. And to this point, they haven't had an answer for him on the inside. Let's see if they make some adjustments coming out of the timeout. Some changes here for the Lakers. Harrell, he's checked in for Gasol. Antetokounmpo comes in for Markeith Morris. And Wesley Matthews subbed in for Caldwell Pope. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Frank Vogel talk to his team during the break. We really got after him in the huddle. He said, look, you can rest after the game. You got to put it all out there if you want to win this one. Back to you guys. Now, here's Zubats. No good on the shot. Great D that time from Harrell. Leonard with the steal. Pushing it up. And here we go. Here's George. And George with the stuff. Well, you love the 
the tenacity. Paul George cannot be contained when he gets near the 10. And Matthews kicks to Adetokounmpo. Here's Harold. Oh, that Ooh. was something else. And yet, we thought we might see it. And the coach's challenge has been triggered on the personal foul call. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving at and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. We're double-checking, and the game continues on. First free throw is good. Well, Paul George smack dab in the middle of the prime of his career and maybe underestimated is his drive to win. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Now, here's Schroeder. It's tipped. Now, here's James. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Come on, LeBron welcomes contact, so you are really doing him a favor when you send him to the line. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Dennis Schroeder. No good on the second free throw. Here's George, and George with the stuff. That's what you expect from your leader. Paul George stays calm and doesn't get overwhelmed by the moment. Caldwell Pope passes to James. He kicks to Matthews. It's out of the combo on the wing. Passes it to Harold. It's LeBron. Oh. Oh. We all know LeBron wants to take these shots. When the pressure is at its highest, he does not shy away from making the play his team needs. Now here's Jackson. Over in the corner, Zubac. They'll double him with Arrow. Zubac finds Jackson. And here is Zubac. Shot clock at three. Here's Leonard. Second shot opportunity. Lets it go with a three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Leonard's got nine points here in the second half. James outside. Back to Caldwell Pope. He dishes it to LeBron. To the inside. It's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down to just two points with the bucket from Harrell. How about the confidence of Mod? against James. Throws it up high. Count it! Oh my goodness. Say, say that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Back to James. Down low. Here's Caldwell Pope. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. So much riding on that shot. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. Markeith Morris is checked in for the Lakers. Dennis Schroeder comes in for Wesley Matthews. And the Clippers with a change here, too. Williams is checked in. Yeah, big play on the front end to finish, despite getting hacked there, and big on the back end to hit the free throw. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Now here's James. The feed to Hill to take the lead. Out to Morris. There's the triple. They get the rebound. The second chance effort. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Caldwell Pope for three. Off target from downtown. And they commit an intentional foul. You see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. 
so it's the Clippers taking the win in a close one. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now.
welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. There it is, the Staples Center. And let's go straight. Hey, Kevin, the clip. There's been a transformation here in L.A. There is no doubt about that. D.A., thank you. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. Kleba is the four with Porzingis in the middle. Doncic out there with Richardson. And it's Finney Smith in at the three slot. And for the Clippers, Batuma's out there with Ivica Zubac. Then there's Reggie Jackson. Then it's Paul George. And it's Leonard in at the small forward position. Here's Finney Smith. He's covered by Leonard. Some nice passing here by Dallas. And the dunk by Porzingis. Boy, you got to push Porzingis out of the paint. If you don't, you're looking for trouble. Pass to Jackson. Well, we all know, Clark, the travel in the NBA is just exhausting. It's just incredible how many miles these teams rack up. Kevin, I tell you, some of the old-timers would say, hey, they travel in charter planes today and five-star hotels. They haven't seen anything as far as rough travel. But you're right, it takes a toll. But players are well accustomed to navigating the cadence and rhythm of traveling and still being ready to play. An outstanding defensive play to earn the Mobile One block. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. Now, here's Doncic. There's the pass to Persingas. On deep. That one's no good. That makes him one for two. For the Clippers, it's been a slow start here. It's a five-point game. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. Scoring efficiency was an issue in that one. Took them too many shots to get their points. Yeah, and I think they just seem to be a page behind. A step slower out there all game. And the Mavericks with possession here after the Clippers pick up two. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. The Clippers have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. And George, here we go. And it's denied. Richardson showing you his defensive anticipation there with the block shot. Richardson against George. Outside for Jackson. Five on the clock. Here's Zubats. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. Here's Persingas. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Persingas has got his second bucket of the night. High release for Porzingis on his jump shot. Almost impossible to defend that. Jackson down low. Guarded by Doncic. Pass to Finney Smith. Over in the corner, Doncic. Over George. Again, the Mavericks score. Boy, the take charge mentality of Doncic on display there. The quick fire approach demonstrates his confidence. And I remember when Doncic was first asked, who is your favorite player? And boy, he did not hesitate. LeBron James. Hey, Greg, for guys of his generation, that would be the answer for 80 to 90 percent of them, and with good reason. How about these quotes from Doncic? He said, if I dunk on LeBron, I can retire. But I like this one a little better. He said, LeBron can play in a lot of different positions. I can too. But for me to be like LeBron, I have to work much harder. That's a guy who knows his stuff. That's the efficiency you want to see from Jackson, using his poise and vision to make a play. Doncic against George, and it's Doncic missing. Jackson drives in, pass to Zubats. Over in the corner, Batum. Here's Jackson, and Leonard has it in the corner. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Stolen by George. Pass to Zubats. Feeds it to Leonard. Back to Zubats. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And now let's bring up the numbers and show you the point guards with the highest assist rate over the past month. Fifth is Luka Doncic. 
And these are the best passers in the NBA. No question about it. Every one of them is willing and able to be the floor general out there and make sure the offense is running at full speed. And that's the thing to me. I mean, as exceptional as their assist numbers are, it's their leadership and that ability to direct their offense. That's what makes them stand out. A different look for the Clippers. And checked in. And it's Luke Kennard in for George. Williams scanning the floor and stolen by Coley Stein. Here's Brunson, and he makes good on the way up. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. Morris with the bucket. And I like the different looks that Morris can give you inside, outside, and in transition. Williams against Brunson. Thirty-four seconds left in the first quarter. Cauley Stein kicks to Marjanovic. Five to shoot. Cauley Stein. It's good on the putback. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. Here's Kennard after the basket by Willie Cauley Stein. Got a piece of it. Patterson passes to Kennard. Great look, but off the mark. Now the pass to Burke. Up in time. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks going into the break with a 10 point lead. They've been. And catching up with Luke Kennard before the game, he discussed what it You know, this game, you know, it's... it's Greg, you know this, it takes time mentally for the game to slow down. It's a great point. This is why most championship teams are laden with seasoned veterans. You can't rush experience. It happens at its own pace. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the men. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnovers. On the court for Dallas here in the second, Tim Hardaway Jr. out there with James Johnson. Then there's Dwight Powell. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Richardson in a shooting guard. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. This is a demand. Pass to Oturu. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Hardaway against Kennard. Fires the three. Hardaway, no good. Ball's knocked loose. Here's Mann. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. And they're starting to heat up is what they're doing. They're on fire. I mean, that's what they need to climb back into this game. Here's Brunson. Out to Hardaway. From outside the arc. The shot comes out, so Los Angeles will take it the other way. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some oh, what a finish! Good. And you know what? For me, these don't show exactly how great an athlete George is. I mean, sometimes you're surprised that the basket doesn't come down with the force he punches it with. Doncic finds Burke. Now, here's Marjanovic. Back to Burke. Pass to Coley Stein. No good that time. Great tee that time from Batum. Here's George. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. 
and now it's just a four-point Dallas lead. Greg, we know the names of the superstars, but there are players that are just under that category who probably should get a little more recognition. Hey, hey, Kevin, that's a great point, and I'm going to toot my alma mater's horn a little bit. Christian Wood's a guy that kind of good one yes. reminds me of that. He's kind of on the come up. How about Devontae Graham, mm -hmm. the second rounder back in 2018? But he's showing to be an established young talent in this league, and there are many more guys like that, and they're going to have their opportunity to become household names. To stop the crowd, and Coley Stein throws it down. Boy, like seeing these passes. Doncic has a keen sense for when one of his guys is open, and he gets it to him on time on target. George passes to Zubats. Outside for George. Zubats trying to break loose. And with that, the Maverick lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from George. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. This game was in danger of getting away from them. They've made a nice push to keep it close. Holly Stein dishes to Hardaway. And the three off target. Clippers have gone a superb 7 of 7 from the field here in the second. Here's George. And George with the stuff. Boy, George has major hops. I mean, this guy just gets up big time for these throwdowns. Doncic kicks to Coley Stein. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Coley Stein's got six. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Here's Jackson, and he banks in the layup. Jackson's got it all tied up now for Los Angeles. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Marjanovic passes to Doncic. Took the opportunity when he saw it. He has six. Boy, that jump shot is wet. Hold this, says Doncic. Any kind of airspace, and he's knocking that down. And a deep three from George. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, don't give them another possession here. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. The pass to Leonard. Outside for Batum. So that'll be it for the first... Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is a good, right out of the gates, it was Dallas setting the tone. Amped up and ready off. And that's... Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You look at Paul George in this game, guys. He, he's been everywhere. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter. Sliced right through them. Well, you know what, guys? My question is this. Who's he going to posterize in this half? You know, we've already gotten a number of filthy dunks out of him. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. Setting the floor for the Clippers. They've got Ivica Zubac. Patrick Patterson is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Paul George and it's Jackson in at the point guard position. Leonard on the wing. Back to Jackson. And Patterson kicks to George. Connects from three-point range. George has got 13. Nice release on the shot. George has put a lot of work into his mechanic. And I like the way he continues to impress from beyond the arc. Richardson the pass to Kleba. Now here's Porzingis. Zubats defending. Seven-foot shot. Dallas moving it around. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Shot from 12. Yeah, it's hauled in by Zubats. And mark that one down right there. It's going to be a long time until we see him miss another one like that. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. 
third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Brunson, no good. Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. Jackson dishes to Lennon. Out of bounds, it'll be Maverick's ball. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Luka Doncic, he's checked in for Jalen Brunson. And it's Doncic missing. Only 20% from the field to start this half. To me, it looks like their opponent may have made some nice adjustments. They are on fire right now. That's four straight mates. The Clippers shooting their first free throw of the evening. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Yeah, guys, they can feel very good about themselves when you bring up those statistics. Impressive numbers. Passes it to Kleba. Trying to find Porzingis. That's it to him. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. Kennard, the pass to Oturu. Back to Kennard. Jacks up a three. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Oturu's got the lead up to six now for the Clippers. And that's a pure hustle play. Getting to the offensive glass for the tip. And that's the kind of quality you see. In, and it looks like, yep, it's a coach's challenge on the personal foul. That triggers a replay review by the official. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes. You know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And, guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Williams inside the line and off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. You know what? Didn't find a very good shot on that possession, but still able to get two points. Brunson kicks to Porzingis. Brunson the pass to Porzingis. And Porzingis throws it down hard. How about Porzingis with the fancy throw down? Love seeing the big fella finish with that kind of power. Here's Williams. Porzingis with the block. Oh, and there's the alley-oop, and Cauley Stein throws it down. You just throw it up there. Trill Will's going to take care of the rest. Pass to Oturu. 105 left to play in the third. Patterson passes to Kanan. Six to shoot. Brunson against Williams. Porzingis with the block. You know, when Porzingis combines quickness with his reach, getting off the floor like that, he can block just about any shot. Morris is checked in for Patrick Patterson. Marjanovic checked in for Dallas. Doncic comes in for Jalen Brunson. Doncic. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. The Mavericks have gone three for three at the line tonight. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. There is an awful lot to like about Doncic, but probably what jumps out at me most is how competitive he is. I mean, he wants to dominate whoever's guarding. And nothing is falling for him right now. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a groove. Oh, great ball movement there. There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter. L.A. has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Outside Williams. Morris against Coley Stein. And Kennard wide open. He shoots. Off target from three-point range. And now they decide to foul intentionally. 
It's his first trip to the line. And with his percentage at 87, he's done just about everything they could have asked when it comes to free throw shooting. Yeah, guys, I mean, he's been a very steady hand for them when it comes to his free throw shooting. And that's another area where he is just a superb player, excellent at the free throw line. One second left, and oh, he hits the buzzer, Peter! Resourceful move there, ending the... And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game so far. The Mavericks on top as they end the third quarter with a 13-4 run. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. Johnson is out there with Tim Hardaway Jr. Then there's Cauley Stein. Then there's Dwight Powell. And it's Doncic in at the one spot. They throw good Paul George. And if you want to talk about the best two-way players in the NBA, George's name would be high on the list for sure. I mean, that's the kind of presence he has at both ends of the court. Doncic passes to Persingas. Out to Doncic. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Batum. George finds Batum. Back to George. Persingas with the steal. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Carly Stein, he's checked in for Maxi Kleba. Richardson gets a wide-open look. That three off the mark. Clippers have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. And now we've got the intentional foul. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Jackson passes to Batum. Zubats against Porzingis. Just five on the clock. That's two really unproductive trips in a row in the internal. Richardson, good. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for Dallas? Boy, their hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end, very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And also, I've been extremely impressed with their interior D. Their rim protection has been as good as it gets. Doncic kicks to Porzingis. And the dunk by Porzingis. Boy, you know, guys, the combination of strength and height for Porzingis allowing him to take on physical defense much better. Outside, George. Mavericks with the rebound. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Neither did the defense. Here's Jackson, and he drops in the way up off the glass. And with the defender draped all over him, Jackson has that strength to fight through the contact. George against Doncic. Porzingis inside. Shoots over Zubats. And the rejection by Zubats. They get it back. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Now here's Jackson. Outside, George. And stolen by Richardson. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Marcus Morris picks one up there. Doncic, because he's so skilled and so savvy, he does a nice job forcing the defense into tough spots when they're guarding. And the Mavericks making a change here. Kleba's checked in. And that makes it a two-possession game now. Those could turn out to be vital free throws. 
Now here's Leonard. Tight defense on him. Pass to Okunu. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Yeah, I love the court awareness from Kawhi there. Dependable at getting it to his uncovered teammates. Anjic passes to Persingas. Oh, here comes Williams all alone. Count that one. Now just a one-point Maverick lead. Even killed is Williams. Calm in the eye of the storm. It's a big one there. Doncic kicks to finish Smith. That's the Doncic. Outside, Porzingis. Richardson outside. Just five to shoot. Out to Doncic. The tomb with the steal. And now in transition, here's Williams. Here we go. Yes! And guys, that's the man you want with the ball in his hands on that critical possession. Kawhi being his best in the biggest moments. And the Mavericks call time here. They're behind by one. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Player of the game, Paul George. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hand. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. He hits the Zubats, has checked in for Nicholas Batu, and George has subbed in for Reggie Jackson. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. During that last break, Kevin, we got a chance to hear Rick Carlisle's message to his team. With this game in the balance, he really came after his guys. He said, this is our time. Right now, be in the moment with each other. Do your job, and I promise you, we'll win this game. Back to you. And an intentional foul right there. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. You know, you look at Hardaway Jr. right now. I think efficiency is everything. Should be the priority for him. I think he has the talent, no doubt, but just needs to play to his strengths a little bit more. And it's George missing. Donchich with it. And the pass to Hardaway. Up top, Marjanovic. From deep three-point range. So it's an arrow victory for the Mavericks, pulling out the W. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up for...
drive and down. At we are near. Kevin, thanks. He stays working and stays true. David, thank you. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. Pairing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCollum. Robert Covington out there with Ennis Kenton. And it's Jones in at the three spot. And for Los Angeles, Kawhi Leonard is out there with Batum. Then it's Paul George. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's Jackson in at the point guard position. Plenty of experience, Greg, on the floor tonight. How does that shape what we're about to see, do you think? You know, Kevin, this is one of those games where guys are going to be smart out on the floor. They're going to be in the right positions to make plays. And honestly, this could come down to who makes the bigger, tougher shots. Now Lillard right now just locked in, even with the defense having all eyes on him. Jackson against Lillard. Jackson passes to Zubac. George with no one around. A three-pointer off the mark. And here's Portland. Cantor kicks to Jones. George against Lillard. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Lillard's got his second bucket. One thing about Lillard is he can go with either hand when he's attacking the rim, and that makes it very difficult to defend. Leonard, the pass to Zubac. Count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Good work there as it goes. Lillard's got six. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Now here's Jackson taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now he averages about nine points a game. And the layup fall. Offense clicking early here. Three for four to start this one. Lillard scanning the floor. Passes to Cantor. Kicks it to McCollum. Back to Cantor. McCollum outside. Five on the clock. The next on the nine-footer. Well, their offense is rolling. A perfect start. Four of four so far. Jackson passes to Leonard. Back to Jackson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He has six. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Now, here's Lillard coming off a stellar performance against New Orleans. It's McCollum on the wing. That one falls. Well, he knows how to get the shot off at any time on that pick and roll. Natural instincts taking over, and the experience helping McCollum as well. The Los Angeles Clippers come into this one following a loss to the Mavericks in Dallas. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. Here's Cantor after the Clippers pick up two. The feed to Lillard. Pass to Covington. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. There's nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. And the dunk by Zubac. And you want more of this from Jackson. The more unselfish he is, the better the team. Nobody near Lillard. It's good from long range. Lillard's got nine. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Jackson. Six points for him. Here's Zubats. Back to Jackson. Covington against Batum. Pass to Jackson. CJ McCollum comes up with a rebound. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for the Trailblazers. 
24 seconds left here in the first quarter. Kicks it out to Jones. That one's not going to go. And I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. No, he, he should know better. He knows that's not his game, which is why we don't see him take that shot off. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for Portland. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with them. We'll take a quick break. When I'm training in the summer. The team seems to support break that philosophy 100%. The game has changed. Some guys would rather take a few steps back to get a cleaner look. Lillard being one of them. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And looking at what we've seen so far from the Trailblazers guys, uh, what do you think? Boy, the, their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. Yeah, couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. Here are the five. Portland has to start the second quarter. Anthony out there with Little. And it's Giles in at the five. Home in the paint. Morris, no good. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. And Marcus Morris has raised some eyebrows in the last couple of years just being a much more efficient scorer. Clippers trail by five. From past the arc, Los Angeles with another miss. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Trent passes to Giant. Here's Trent. Takes a three. Another shot. Simons surveying the D. And there's the call on Lou Williams. That is his first foul of the game. On defense, the Clippers. Inside. Here's Giles. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And last season, Marcus Morris's name, one of the hottest on the trade market. Yeah, there's a lot going on in Marcus Morris's offseason a year ago. A lot of contenders looking to add him to the roster. Handshake deal with the Spurs, switch to the Knicks, and then eventually traded to the Clippers. So grab your musical chair and try to find a seat. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Little. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. They get it back. And Patterson kicks to Kanon. That one wide left. Portland leading by seven. Now Little. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Gets it to go. That one good from Giles. Well, he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Williams attacking. Count it. He's so good at driving to the rim. Even though he's a little bit older, Williams still with great speed, change of pace, and picks the right angle. Simons, the pass to Trent. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Little can hit. Looking at the Trailblazers, they took the last win in their last game against the Pelicans. Yeah, I felt like they attacked, but with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. And in talking with the coaching staff, they said in that game, they did a great job of not settling. Keep working the ball around, finding the best look. Let's see if they can keep that up. And there's the pass to Simons. A shot off that time. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Trailblazers leading by seven. Pass to Giles. Power down with both hands. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. Outside Williams from downtown. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Giles has got his fifth rebound in this one. 
Here's Trent. He's guarded by Williams. And there's the call on Lou Williams. That'll be his second foul of the game. This is one where the second foul is probably going to cost you some minutes in this game. For the Trailblazers, Ennis Canners checked in for Giles, and Hood subbed in for Little. Simons, the pass to Trent. Outside Anthony. Here's Hood. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Rodney Hood mixing it up, doing a good job of getting in there and drawing a foul. The Trailblazers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. That one is off. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Rodney Hood is a guy who's out here to stretch the floor and mix up his game a little bit, trying to regain some confidence in what he can provide offensively. Here's Kanar. The kick out to Williams. Shot clock at six. Has to O'Toole. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. And again, it's the Clippers missing. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Kicks it out to Lillard. Cantor trying to free himself up, and it's in there. Damien doesn't need a lot of time to get a shot off and found some space there. Patterson finds Kennard. From deep, here's Oturu. Excellent D from Cantor. Deflects the pass. And so it's Portland enjoying a... Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again. Well, he's been an elite scorer for so long in the league. Jack Patterson. <laughs> and that'll do. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Really an incredible game from Lillard. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Paul George is out there with Jackson. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Batum. And it's Zubac in at the center. That's who's out there for the Clippers. And the Croatian big man, Ivica Zubac. A big hip-hop fan. His teammates call him Zupac. Uh, <laughs> It's amazing that he was traded from the Lakers to the Clippers, so uh, still home games here at Staples Center. Chalk up two there. Jackson's got eight points. And with the defender trait all over him, Jackson has that strength to fight through the contact. Lillard from outside hits it from three-point range. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. A deep three from George. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And now running up the court, Lillard pushing it up. Cantor finds Covington. Lillard outside. And a miss there on the triple. Clippers trail by 15. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. And so it's Covington who brings up the ball for the Portland Trail Blazers. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. And that one's good, Lillard. And we could be having one of those nights where he becomes the one-man show for his ball club. You just don't need to tell him to keep scoring. He'll do it. Here's Jackson. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Cancer kicks to McCullough. From deep three-point range, it's held in by Zubac. Clippers have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. The three from George hits the three-point bomb. George has got his first three points of the game. Okay, 
good game plan. Start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. Miller against Jackson. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Greg, you were a feared ball hawk in your playing days, and I know you see similar players playing today. No doubt about that, uh, Kev. You know, Ben Simmons, a player at 6'10 with, with those hands. He's incredible to watch on that. And how about Fred Van Vliet, though? He's a guy, they say he's 6'1". I don't know, but he gets into you and competes, man. And that's the beauty of our game. You know, you can be as big as the trees and, and have a major impact, or you can be one of those little fellas, as they like to call us, and be equally as effective on the floor. I like the Chris Pauls, the Patrick Beverleys. There are a lot of those guys that play the ball like you did so well. Yeah, right. Great, great play. And after an abysmal first half from the field, the shot's now starting to fall. Lillard, the pass to Trent. Here's Giles. And the layup's good off the glass. Giles has got eight. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Outside Leonard. Again, the Clippers. And they're showing much more focus here in the second half. More effort as well. And their offense starting to show signs of life. Pass to Trent. Lillard against Jackson. Lillard misses. Clippers trail by 14. A three from Leonard. Rebounded by Anthony. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. A nice shot by George. George has got five points now in the quarter. Well, you'd like to push Paul George out of the paint if possible. Goes into his bag of tricks to score that time. And Lillard kicks to Giles. There's 53 seconds left in the third. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That's his first foul. So, for the Clippers, Patterson comes in for Ivica Zubats. Lou Williams is subbed in for Jackson. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Simons has checked in. Here's Anthony. Down to five on the shot clock. And stolen by Patterson. Here's Leonard. Portland grabs the miss. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he laid straight up and in. Outside for George. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got four assists in the game. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Here's Simons. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Oh, Leonard in position. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. And we've watched three so far in this one. Trailblazers lead by nine. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. We're getting stops after that start. We've been... And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Now here's Williams on the court for the Trailblazers. McCollum the two and Hood the three. Ennis Cantor is out there with Derek Jones. And it's Simons in at the point. It's George on the wing. Six on the shot clock. A fadeaway. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got six rebounds in the game. Hood dishes to Jones. To the inside, Cantor up and in on the layup. Cantor's got his first points in this one. Well, this is the area where Cantor can really unleash his offensive arsenal. Difficult guy to defend inside. Williams looking over the floor. A three-pointer, no good. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. 
Trailblazers leading by 11. Here's Patterson, and it's Patterson finishing it off. Yeah, we love when great offensive players get in a scoring rhythm, but Paul George right now in a great passing rhythm tonight. Robert Covington's checked in for Rodney Hood. That free throw good from Patterson. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for Portland. That one drops for him. He gives CJ that kind of shot, and he's going to knock it down. He'll exploit the defense all night long. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Shoots from the right block. Williams can't get it to go. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Love the patience from Covington. Uh, let's the situation develop and then delivers a perfect strike. Pass to Oturu. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. McCollum finds Covington. Kicks it out to McCollum. They grab their own miss, and Kent are able to finish. And the Trailblazers lead by 12. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Right side, Williams. Stolen away. And now Cortland on the break. Jones is running. Oh, oh, too finish. much. Too Whoa. much at that. That is not possible. What we just, <laughs> is, is that possible? Uh, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, like you said. <laughs> Oturu, the pass to Patterson. Here's Oturu. He's covered by Cantor. Here's Oturu. Excellent D from Cantor. Jones in the post. Covington with it. Williams picks him up. Covington dishes to Jones. Feeds it to Cantor. Back to Jones. Portland keeps it going. A new 14-second shot clock. A nice shot by Simons. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Trailblazers. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And so this is going to end up as victory number 24 on the year. And they're able to even the score of this series at a game apiece still. Two more to go in the season series. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Damian Lillard. Well, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. And here's Kanter. Jones, no one around him. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. Now that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. And then for the Trailblazers, Harry Giles is checked in for Ennis Cantor. And Lillard subbed in for Anferni Simon. And he gets it to go. Well, at this point, they're just trying to get back in sync. You, you want to play a good brand of basketball. Consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight, they just did not find it in this contest. And it's Lillard missing. And it would take divine intervention for them now to get back in it. Yeah, I'd have to say, guys, I don't think the man upstairs is really focused on the comeback. Here's Giles. Jones finds McCollum for the three, and it falls. And they came in determined. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining.
Look at downtown Los Angeles from the air.
2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And in the locker room, each guy has been going and taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Lou Williams. And maybe it's shocking, and maybe, yeah, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. And now the Lakers starting group. Aldwell Pope and LeBron fill out the wings. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Harold, and it's Schroeder in at the point. And for the Clippers, Batuma's out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Reggie Jackson. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's George in at the two spot. Nice. And you can't forget about the bunnies on Caldwell Pope. I mean, uh, this guy is definitely looking to slam it down whenever he gets an opportunity. Leonard, the pass to Zubac. Leonard inside. Working on James. Leonard, no luck. Hobbed up there for Schroeder. Dives for it. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Outside for Batum. And Batum throws it down. There you see why you want the ball in Jackson's hands as much as possible. He can clearly set the tape. Pass to Kuzma. And here is Harold. LeBron James on the wing. To the paint. And it's Harold missing. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points. But the D, just enough to keep him out of rhythm. And the rejection by James. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. And now the fast break. Schroeder with the ball. Oh, Kuzma's in position. Well, as we enter the back half of the season, some players are worn down, but... Greg, are there certain players who really dial in at this point who find traction with their game? No doubt about it, Kevin. Especially for the veterans who understand it's a marathon and not a sprint. Uh, you know, you, you really are trying to build up towards this portion and then take your game and your mindset to another level. So this is a time for those guys when they just start to hit their stride. Caldwell Pope outside. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. And they're running. Here's George. That shot off. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. Lakers passing it around. Kuzma passes to Harrell. That gives them the lead. And improving as a shot maker every year. Harrell has to be accounted for defensively. And George, here we go. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Leonard against Caldwell Pope. Outside for Batum. Clippers working now with the new shot clock. Jackson has the open look. Here's Leonard. Jackson finds Zubats. Goes up with it again. Here's George. And finally they hit one. George has got his second bucket tonight. Well, when Batum spots a wide open teammate, he zips the rock to him quickly. Just exceptional vision. There's the feed to Harold. Out to Kuzma. James has a two-pointer. It's hauled in by the Clippers. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Patterson, he's checked in for the Clippers. Williams comes in for George. Right side, Williams. Here's Zubac. The basket is good off the assist from Williams. And don't sleep on Williams' ability to create for others. That's a veteran play. To the middle. Here's Jones. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, good job to take it right at the game. This is his first free throw of the game. And so Jones nails both of them. 
Here's Williams. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. It's stolen by Jones. Down low. Here's Caruso. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. It's Williams with the drive. Yep, that one goes in there. And such a nimble ball handler. Williams makes quick work of getting down the lane. And he'll drive all night long if they let him. Now, here is Morris. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Minnesota. And, yeah, and don't leave out his rebound. He had a big impact in that game with all his effort on the glass. Here's Williams. It's so bad. It's a Kumbo. And it's the Lakers on the break. Matthews leading the charge. He lobs it up. And what an alley who goes to read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Williams dishes to Morris. He feeds it to Patterson. Here's Williams with one on the clock. And he finishes nicely on the way. So savvy inside for a player of his size. And tough. Williams will do whatever it takes. Some great action here early as we end the first. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers. Guys? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Well, it's part of their strategy coming in, no doubt. And, and there may not be that much their opponent can do about it. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So for the Clippers right now, they've got Patrick Patterson. Williams is out there with Kennard. And it's Oturu in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. The Lakers in the lead. Morris finds James. Back to Morris. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Morris has got his first basket. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Williams with the ball. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Coach is liking what he's seeing from his offense. And, guys, they put the defense on the defensive. And Gasol able to finish. Gasol's got the lead up to six now for the Lakers. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Oturu, the pass to Patterson. The dish to Williams. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Reggie, we hear this a lot. It's almost too popular now to say good offense beats good defense. Being a defensive-minded player yourself, do you agree with that statement? Absolutely, Kevin. And, and the thing is, in today's game, when I played, there was an era, you know, you could hold teams in the 80s and 90s. Uh, you could go a quarter and keep them at 12, 15 points. You can't do that now. It's different. You've got to be able to, to win stretches of two and three minutes. Uh, and, and honestly, you're right. It, the offense does dictate far more, uh, but it doesn't discount the importance of defense. And if you still look at the, the reigning champs and the teams that have won titles recently, that's still one area that they're consistent in is their defensive. And here we go with the coach's challenge. Not surprised in a competitive game like this. And he's disputing the personal foul call. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And, guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, 
they got it right with the review. And here's the break. And LeBron with the basket, the assist by Morris. And it's an eight-point Laker lead. And James is used to scoring through contact. Doesn't matter what the D throws at him. Here's Oturu, defended by Jones. Cuts it fly. Over to the wing. Clippers moving the ball around. Five to shoot. Goes back up. Misses off the left iron. He's forcing things a little bit in this quarter. Settling for shots that he'd be better off passing up. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Clippers trail by eight. Patterson can't get it to go. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. Here's James. Softly drops in the floater. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here's Williams. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Williams has got four points in the quarter. What a score this guy is. Inside, outside, mid-range. Williams is capable of doing damage from anywhere. Pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Jones. And it's slammed in by Jones. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Williams looking over the floor. It's stolen by Jones. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Hammers the alley-oop through. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Now James, he had 25 points in the win against Minnesota. I mean, and you look at his free throw numbers. I mean, this shows you how much pressure he put on the defense. And Williams, here we go. Down it goes. That's four made from the field. He's four of eight. I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. LeBron outside. Morris outside. The pass to Caruso. Here's Horton Tucker. Good on the triple. And the Lakers lead by 15. Just playing with poise and confidence. And they continue to put points on the board. They're just playing smart basketball. Reading the floor well and executing. And that was a little bit of a range check for them. Oh, trying to take advantage. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Their lead at 15 going. And now. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to a competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. They never put themselves in too much danger. Thanks for joining. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You have to like what we've seen from Jones. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. Bringing the physicality. I mean, they kept working it to him, and he kept delivering. So the Lakers five right now. Caldwell Pope out there with Dennis Schroeder. Then it's Matthews. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. And Harrell's in at the five. Home in the paint. Harrell kicks it over to Schroeder. Back to Harrell. The tomb with the steal. Here's Leonard. Plays it up and banks it in. And busting it up the floor. Leonard showing a lot of energy on the fast break. If there's one thing he doesn't lack, it's hustle. Schroeder passes to Harrell. Outside for Caldwell Pope. From outside, off the mark. This is a lucky break. Yeah, keep giving him that shot. Bad things will happen. Yeah, you see the athleticism George had on that dunk. So quick and explosive. Gets to the rim in an instant. Harold dishes to Caldwell Pope. Schroeder against Zubac. And that one's good. Schroeder. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Clippers trail by 11. 
Now here's Jackson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Story of their game right here. One sloppy play after another. The Lakers making a switch here. James is checked in. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. And Kuzma stays with it. Kuzma's got his second basket of the night. Masterful of timing. Went to go after offensive rebound. Kuzma excels at getting the right position. When Kuzma first entered the league, the Lakers were a rebuilding team. Now, Greg, he's one of the more experienced pieces on this team. And Kuzma's made the most of it. Switching to a learning role. Tries to absorb as much as he can from the vets. And he does everything he can to pick their brain and improve on those little things in terms of championship caliber basketball. Excellent court awareness. James has always had terrific instincts as a playmaker. Jackson against Schroeder. And stolen by Harrell. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Defense is right there. And James throws it down. James is effective at getting near the basket. Always look to dunking it home. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. To end the run. And here's George for three. And James pulls it down. Lakers leading by 17. Loads it up there for Harrell. An emphatic LU jam. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope, looking to get his guys going when they're open. Here's Jackson, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. You know, winning that championship as you did, Greg, for UNLV, many people don't remember you played much of that season with a broken jaw. Well, Kevin, I don't remember much of it, to be honest with you. Uh, mm. It was pretty hazy. I lost 19 pounds over the course of the season. Oh, I was goodness. championship night. I was 168 pounds. No and, uh, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was wired wow. shut for eight weeks. Didn't miss a game, but I tell you what, I don't know if I would do that today. But, you know, it, it, it did turn out well with the championship. As I recall, you broke it against Fresno State, correct? Yes. Yeah. Got my legs taken out uh, from under uh. me and broke the fall with my mm. face. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ouch. And the Clippers making a change here. Williams has checked in. Let's see the stat sheet here for Paul George. And, guys, this effective field goal percentage is trending in the wrong direction over the past five games. Shot discipline hasn't been the best. He'll be looking to play a smarter game tonight. While the shooting of Morris provides his team with is crucial, just a real valuable part of this team. Patterson, he's checked in for the Clippers. Caruso, the pass to Jones. Here's Caruso. Jones finds Morris. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Wesley Matthews on the wing. Shot clock at five. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And they force shot the clock shot violation. clock violation. Great team. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Clippers. On Saturday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. Then on Monday, they'll be taking on Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. And that game against the Spurs, this is a game that they are expected to win. But sometimes those are the kind of games where you get a little bit sloppy and start looking ahead. Either way, they'll need to put in tremendous effort to walk away with the victory. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Morris with the ball. Leonard picks him up. Hanta Takumbo dishes to Morris. Tries again, and a great assist by Hanta Takumbo as that one goes in. Morris has got his second basket of the night. There's 48 seconds left to play here in the third, and Jones sends it back. Here we go, one on one. The kick out to Hanta Takumbo. Matthews with it, working on Zubats, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. You have got to be kidding. Hey, talk about taking things in your own hands. 
There's 18 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Morris finds Jones. Matthews with it. Leonard with the steal. Now the Clippers moving it up. Here's Kanon. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to go on Markeith Morris. Uh, you got to be more disciplined against elite shooters like Kennard. I mean, as he relishes opportunities at the line. Good on both. And so it's the Lakers with it. On its way from Caldwell Pope for two. And arguably the game's most versatile defender. Leonard can legit. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. 13 points up at the end of the period. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Well, I like that he didn't make his decision too early. You know, he let the play develop. That's how you do it. Finds the weakness in that defense. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Batuma's out there with Ivica Zubas. Then it's Paul George. And there's Jackson. And it's Leonard in at the three spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. The shot will not fall. And the Lakers go on the other way now. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. Here's Leonard, and Gasol sends it back. You gotta be wary of Gasol. I mean, he's good at using his length to turn away shots. Back to Caldwell Pope. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Zubats has got six rebounds in the game. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for him tonight. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Morris is checked in for Kawhi Leonard, and it's Williams in for Jackson. James looking it over, and Harrell slams it in. Look, he may not be thought of as big for a center, but with his ability to go vertical, he sure plays big. Williams against Schroeder. Passes it to Zubats from eight. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. You got to do more than that to keep the ball out of his hands down low. Oh, they must ramp up the effort level, the intensity level. They're making it too easy for him out there. Kuzma kicks to James. And the dunk by James. But so many of his points have come from within inches of the bucket. I mean, he lives to attack the rim. Clippers trail by 13. Here's Williams. Pass to Zubac and stolen by Harrell. Now the Lakers on the break. Floats it up for James. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Oh, you love seeing James soar like an eagle. He's exceptional at rising up quickly for the alley-oop. And Williams, here we go. And the rejection by Harrell. LeBron with it. Guarded now by Morris. James, the pass to Harrell. That shot, no good. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Oh, I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure these two will have a good laugh about it later. A guy with George's focus can shrug off the contact. He won't let the defender disrupt his rhythm. LeBron kicks it over to Schroeder. There's the lob to the hoop. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Clippers moving the ball around. Here's Williams. And it goes down two points. And once Lou Will catches fire, look out. He is really pouring it on now. And the foul called on Marcus Morris. That is his first foul of the game. For the Clippers, Kawhi Leonard comes in for Morris. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Lou Williams. On the wing, James. Loads it up there for Harrell. No good. Shot missing. 
Clippers trail by 11. And George, here we go. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. The Lakers have gone 4 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. George against James. He gets that one. James has got six in the quarter. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Lakers. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage, but this is a great team effort by everyone. And now on the year, this will take them to 28 wins. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for LeBron. I mean, he had a plan for how to attack the D. He executed and never let up. Relentless offensive basketball. Tips it. Great positioning on the putback. He makes so many hustle plays, and, and here he's working the offensive glass for the tip in. And Schroeder's got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Trills the three-pointer. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Well, this is what guys play for. And when it pans out like this, it's a great fit. Leonard, that's for two. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Schroeder, right side. Loads it up there for Harrell. Up high to stop the alley-oop. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, there's no doubt as to who was the better team. I mean, they, they proved it with this win. George, way outside. Can't drop the tough three-pointer. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. Oh, David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our...